Did I just spend $50 on, on Starbucks, Starbucks drinks? drinks? Yes, yes I did. I'm a little bit frightful, you see, because I am alone. And I just bought 10 coffees. 10 drinks, hot, cold, you name it. Starbucks wasn't on Skip the Dishes. <laughs> I ordered through the app because no way in hell am I standing in front of a real human and telling them that I want one of every holiday drink off their menu. No fucking way. Going there and picking it up is embarrassing enough for me. I'm gonna have to carry out 10 drinks all by my lonesome. Arrived. <laughs> mm. Hey. 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 We didn't die on the way here, but I might die of secondhand embarrassment. Not even secondhand, it's firsthand. It's literally me. It's like six o'clock at night, so like who the hell would be ordering 10 fucking coffees, but it's me. Um, it says my order's ready, so I guess, I guess I'm gonna go in and get it. I don't think I'm gonna film in there. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. No way. Ah, consider the bag secured. I just really don't want it to spill. <laughs> hey. Hey, made it back. No issues. Okay. Starbucks unboxing. I always make <laughs> the mistake of grabbing cups by the lid because apparently I am four years old, so. This is gonna be my coffee for the next week. Let's start from hot to cold, just because I feel like the hot drinks are already sorta maybe not so hot, but that's okay. Gingerbread latte, mm, okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but it really does just taste like gingerbread. It's still good. It's just not the best. I've already drinking half of it, so. <laughs> this is the Irish cream. Americano. <laughs> um, those are very different. <laughs> incredibly bitter compared to the gingerbread, like incredibly bitter. If I got this first, I would probably like it. The best things make you choke first. Yeah! I'm scared there's gonna be a Christmas demon behind me. Like, please, bitch, I'm all alone this year. Caramel brulee, brumble. <laughs> Don't fucking know, caramel brumble blat. Fabulous, 10 out of 10. Mm, I'm gonna be up all night. What the hell is this? It's chestnut something. I don't know how to do English. Oh my God, just by the stir stick. That was angelic. Oh my God, this is something God would craft with his own two hands. I always hear things and I get scared. Ted Bundy taught me. I'm not gonna win. I'm not gonna win unless I make the first move to just you really tried me and for that you were paid with your life. No one sneak up on me. <laughs> Anyways, lighter topics, lighter topics. This is delightful. This is what I imagine rich people drink every day because that tastes just not rich but wealthy. Oh no, eggnog latte. This just right off the bat is making me dry. <sighs> yep, that's eggnog. Is it a coffee that I wanna have for my own pleasure? No, it's not. And if it's yours, seek help. It's okay, if you like eggnog, you'll like it. <laughs> Peppermint mocha. Oh yeah. This shit's like serving me mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm-hmm. That is a mint chocolate ice cream in a coffee. It's nice if you have a sweet tooth. I couldn't sip too much of that. Subconsciously, which one did I drink the most? Hmm. I don't know. Hot drinks are over and done with. Yeet. Irish cream, but in a cold brew. Mm. Yeah, that's fantastic, really. Yummy. There's something just like so nice about iced coffee. Delightful, really. Peppermint frap. Mm. I like to the mocha latte. It is just like mint chocolate chip ice cream, except you're drinking it. So it's kind of like, why would I let my ice cream melt just to drink it? You know what I mean? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. 
So, uh, caramel brulee frap. <laughs> That's amazing! Tickle me fucking pink. Mm, did I save the worst for last? Eggnog, again, but in frappuccino. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's just that people choose, they choose to drink this, and that's what concerns me the most about mankind. Eggnog? Why? You know what I mean? Why? Like, who benefited by the invention of eggnog? Hey Google, who benefited from the invention of eggnog? Okay, so actually, um, a little birdie just told me that uh, eggnog represents the wealthy, so I actually love her. My favorite, you already know. I don't even gotta tell you that. Hey. Uh, chestnut? Oh, chestnut? Chestnut? Burlai? Thank you for supporting me, even though I have a substance abuse problem. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a subscribe. Like, I don't, I don't wanna say this. So I just prefer that you do it. You know, I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want to tell you who to be. Just follow your heart, but I hope your heart tells you Tatum. Cut the cameras, cut the cameras.